having wonderful guests on my shows. Tonight is no exception. My next guests are two of the funniest men in the business. I know because they told me so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet Lenny Bennett and Jerry Stevens. <laughs> Well, tell me, Lenny, how do you follow the great, the superb Shirley Bassey? Stop flannelling. I mean, I'm not all that impressed. I mean, I have done shows with Ruby Murray. <laughs> you should show more respect. Don't you realise that Shirley Bassey is the world's most impersonated singer? Even you copy her. I don't sing like Shirley Bassey. No, but you walk like her. <laughs> Now, I don't want you being disrespectful to Miss Bassey, because these are all the most devoted fans in here tonight. In fact, there's one party have come all the way from South Wales. South Wales? This will all be new to them, electric lights and carpets and things like that. <laughs> now, some of them, some of them are even taking the trouble to dress up in a national costume. There's two women down there in miners' lamps and wearing pit boots. <laughs> Do you remember when we worked in Wales? Mm -hmm. At the Eisteddfod? We were the first performers ever to be booed by druids. <laughs> Mind you, we do have admirers all over the world. Do you know that we actually got a fan letter this morning from South Africa? Never. Mm. What did he say? I can remember it. We heard perfect. It said, Dear Lenny and Jerry, I am writing to you from Cape Town. <laughs> Last night, we saw your show on television here in South Africa for the very first time. Here is the good news. We think you are absolutely first class and your show is just great. Signed, Harry Dukaipa. Fabulous. P.S. Here is the bad news. I lied about the good news. <laughs> Do you realize that when roses are blooming in Piccadilly, the people in Rotherham couldn't care less? <laughs> well, that's funny. That's very funny. In fact, that almost made my knees shake with amusement, that. Mm -hmm. 
Here, tell me something. Why is it that in their homes, people say nice things to their plants to encourage them, then go out in the garden and put manure on the rhubarb? <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if the Queen was watching us on television now, and she turned to Prince Philip and she said, one is not amused. I think I'll go and do the ironing. <laughs> Thought. Do nervous butterflies ever get people in their stomachs? <laughs> you see, oh, this woman could become a threat. Yeah. Good night, Shirley. Nervous butterflies in their stomachs.